all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is going to be a look at whatever you need to hear right now. So whatever is for your best benefit from your guides. Now, please remember, these are general readings, lots of energy, lots of people, lots of messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, which means I send you your reading as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever you feel is appropriate will be perfect. So my readings are affordable to everyone. If you need more information or would like to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need and onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now looking at today's general what you need to hear right now reading, we're going to have reading number one with the Orca Quartz, reading number two with the Dragon's Blood, reading number three with the Sodalite, reading number four with the red jasper, and reading number five with the labradorite. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not going to lead you wrong. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these readings now, so I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the Orca Quartz. All right, let's see where we start. You start with Antakarana, crossing the rainbow bridge, resurrection, coming full circle. All right, so you guys may have people who've passed on that are reconnecting with you, especially with the holidays coming. There is a resurrection of energy as well as things coming full circle. So ancestral connection and things coming full circle, you coming into completion several places in your life. Now let's see what the tarot has to add. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number one, please. Whatever they need to hear, whatever is in their best interest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Palace of Wands. That talks about living in a place of your passions. It's very important that you follow your passions in your life, down your path. That's going to help you find your highest and best path. King of Swords. So some of you dealing with some real challenges and tests right now. The King of Swords says that you have the strategy. You have all the pieces that you need to be able to work your way through them. So don't give up. You are getting there. Five of coins. Some of you are worried about financial things. Um, this could also be worry about or fear regarding loneliness. So that may be how it resonates for you. For most people, it's regarding financial things. We're going to get oracles, see kind of how you step out of it. The world. So again, completion, coming full circle being mentioned. Something is coming to completion. This could be a karmic cycle. This could be you completing a project you've been working on. You finishing a lesson you've been learning. There is something coming to completion. The world is very positive energy. And the magician. That is beautiful. So the magician talks about using your skills and talents to manifest what you desire in your realm. So you manifesting using all of your gifts. This is very important. You guys are major manifestors. You can manifest what it is you desire. So this fear around money, it could be blocking financial manifestations. Again, we're gonna get Oracle to see exactly what this message means. But uh, but you guys can manifest whatever you want. So keep that in mind. If you desire it, it's, it's within your reach. Now, let's see the angel messages for group number one. Angels, whatever's in the best benefit of group number one, please. Friendship. Okay, so focus on friendship, your friends, your friend circle. 
keeping those relationships strong. Also, it's very important to make sure you are treating yourself the way you would treat your very best friend. You need to take care of you. Show yourself that friendship. Now, let's see Moonology for this Five of Coins. What is there for the Five of Coins here? Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay, so it is very important for you guys to make sure that you have a practical plan regarding your finances. You know, budgeting is good. All the stuff that you're doing already is good. You know, the, the budgeting, the planning, the, you know, hard work that you're putting in, all of that is important. But you also have to bring in the spiritual aspect of it. You can manifest what you desire. Being grateful for what you have brings in more of what you have. So make sure that you don't have fear associated Associated with finances. Make sure that it's gratitude over fear and that will help deal with some of the financial issues you guys may be looking at right now. Now let's also see the King of Swords out of this. You and your loved ones are safe. All right, so whatever challenges you're dealing with, whatever situations you have, you guys are safe. You don't need to worry about how you and your loved ones are going to get through the situations. You guys are safe. You're going to make it through just fine. And you have all the pieces that you need to deal with the challenges you're facing. Now, let's see this Palace of Wands at a Queen of the Moon surrender okay you are being told to surrender to your passions you need to follow your passions whatever it is you're passionate about it is the universe trying to guide you down your highest and best path surrender to that follow your passions they are leading you somewhere now the world what is there in the world focus okay focus on what you're completing focus on what you're finishing Focus on the things that you have completed, the things that you have succeeded in. Keep your focus on the things that you can congratulate yourself for completion of. You have achieved a lot. Do not take your focus off of what you have finished. Now, let's take a look at the Spellcasting Oracle for the Magician. What is there to add to the Magician here? empowerment okay yes you are absolutely empowered to bring your manifestations into your life this is a power within you you should see the possibility of manifestation as an empowerment realize your strength your power your capability with regards to the law of attraction and bringing things into your life you have got this now, let's get you guys a spirit guide message. What is there from the guides for group number one? Thank you, thank you. Follow the golden rule. Absolutely. Treat everyone the way you would have them treat you. Make sure that the energy you're putting out is the energy you would like to receive back. Now, let's see the witch's wisdom. Ooh. Respect and the pinnacle. So make sure that you are showing respect to, you know, all of the energies that are assisting you. Make sure that you are showing respect to yourself, that you are taking good care of yourself. And make sure that respect is a factor in all of your friendship relationships. Your friends should respect you just as much as you respect them. Now, let's see the starseed deck for group number one, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, what else? Oh, something flipped over. There we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're going to start with Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. So make sure you're staying grounded. Make sure you're staying connected. Spend time with nature when you can. That's going to help you through the changes. You also get truth. See your light. Know your power. Have the courage to walk your truth. Absolutely. Have the courage to step into your truth and walk your path. And finally, inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love, especially regarding these financial things. React to financial issues as loving what you have as opposed to fearing what you don't have. That's going to bring in a different energy for you guys. 
All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the dragon's blood. All right, let's see where we start. We start with light body. Independence brings comfort, past restrictions, ancestral healing, some of you guys breaking cycles. There is an independence that is coming in, a wonderful independent energy that's going to bring in some comfort for you guys. Now, let's take a look at tarot, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, please. Whatever is in their best interest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Strength. You are absolutely strong enough to deal with whatever trials you face right now. Whatever situations you're in, your strength is not going to fail you. Ooh, the magician. Okay, so you guys manifesting your manifesting what you desire into your life. This is a wonderful energy of strong manifestations coming out. The world. You guys have all major arcana so far. You guys are going through major transitions, major completions, major things changing. This, uh, the world is about completion. It's about something coming to completion. You may be stepping into independence for the first time, completing a cycle, moving into an independent frame of being. The seven of coins. The seven of coins talks about waiting to receive the rewards for the work that you've put in. So you guys may be putting in your hard work. Things may be slow as far as financially you receiving the rewards for that hard work, but it is coming. You've put in the work. You're going to receive your rewards for it. And finally, the King of Swords. The King of Swords talks about challenges and tests, but it reassures you that you have the capability of dealing with it. Not only do you have your strength coming out in the very beginning, but this talks about using your strategy and skills to overcome the challenges that you face. Now let's see Oracle for everything. Angels for group number two, please. Whatever's in their best benefit. Show justice. All right. Justice is about balance, much like justice in tarot. It does talk about fairness, so make sure you're being fair to yourself and others in all of your dealings. But the show justice talks about balance, so make sure you are bringing yourself into balance as well. Balancing your work-life ratio and all of that, taking good care of you. Now, let's see the Moonology deck for the King of Swords. Emotions are running high. Okay, so the King of Swords is a very logical person. Very smart, very intelligent, very logical, and probably represents you here. So emotions are running high. Whatever you guys are dealing with, it may be emotional. You may have family conflicts that are going on, um, especially if you're stepping into your independence for the first time. There may be some conflict there. Remember that emotions are running high. Don't take things personally. I know that's really hard to do. It's very easy to say. But try not to take things personally and strategize your way through this. You're going to get through it. Now, let's take a look at the Queen of the Moon. We'll start with the Seven of Coins. What is there for the Seven of Coins here? Self-love. Okay. So, as you put your work in, as you wait for things to come back to you, and for things to grow and develop in your situations. Make sure that self-love is a significant factor. You're putting in your work and you're not quite being rewarded for it as of this point. So make sure you're taking care of you so that you don't become disheartened. Now let's see strength as well. Creation. Okay, yes, this creation is also about manifestation. You are a strong manifester. You have you can make whatever you want in your life and your realm. You absolutely can. So be clear with the universe about what you want and then be patient and let it develop. Now let's see out of the spell casting oracle, the magician. 
closure. Okay. Yeah. A cycle is closing. You are moving into something new. You've got past restrictions and ancestral healing coming out in your signifier. So things are closing. You've manifested some form of closure somewhere. So it is coming to a close. Some segment of your life, you're moving past it into something better. So move down the path. Let go what's gone. Let go what is finished and complete. Speaking of completion, we come into the world. Ooh, fertility. All right. So you have completed something. The situation is fertile for you to absolutely jump into something new. Now, let's see the spirit guide deck for group number two, please. Whatever there is for group number two. Worry is a wasted emotion. Absolutely it is. You don't need to worry. You have got this. Whatever situation you're facing, whatever you're dealing with, you have got this. Do not worry. Your strength is where your reading started. You are absolutely strong enough for whatever it is you face. So do not fret. Do not worry. You are going to come through everything that you're facing right now. Absolutely all right. Now, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number two, please, out of the Witch's Wisdom deck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whatever's in their best benefit. Hmm. There we go. Okay. Familiar guardian. Okay, so many of you may have a beloved guardian, familiar pet that you can spend time in, spend time with, confide in. That connection may even be a soulmate connection for you guys. So if you're thinking about getting a, a pet to share your existence with, then this may be a sign that that is a good way to proceed. If you already have a beloved animal companion, then spend some time with them and really let them share in your struggle. They are there as your companion to help you emotionally through this lifetime. Now, let's see the little starseed deck. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. One more. Oh, yep, okay. All right, so we start with wisdom. See your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So anyone that feels like an adversary to you, see this as an opportunity for you to spread your light. Do not let them drag you down to their level. You also get vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. And finally, surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome and just be with life in this present moment. Be with life in the minute. Enjoy the now. All right, that is all I have for reading number two. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the sodalite. All right, let's see where we start. We start with energy, medicine, sensuality, devotion, celestial fertility, and deep rest. So there is the need for some energy healing going on. Make sure you're taking care of yourself on an energetic level. There may be the need for a little bit of sensuality and definitely some rest. Now, let's see what Tarot has to add. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number three, please. What is in their best interest? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Ooh, the two of cups. You guys making that soulmate connection? Temperance, so balance. It's very important to balance all that passion and those emotions. 
king of coins. The king of coins could represent you. It could represent your soulmate. It can represent someone else you're dealing with as well. It also talks about abundance coming in. But the king of coins, if it does represent a person, this person wants to take care of your needs. They want to take care of you on every level. Now, page of coins. The page of coins talks about opportunity where you need to take action, something you need to step into. And the five of coins. All right, some of you are worrying with regards to loneliness or financial issues. So don't worry about finances. Fear around finances draws more fear towards you. So remember, focus on gratitude, not fear. We'll get Oracle and see what there is to add to that five of coins. Now let's take a look at the Oracle starting with the angel deck. Angels, for the best benefit of group number three, please. Archangel Chamuel. Archangel Chamuel is the Archangel of Love. I really feel like some of you are meeting your soulmate. Some of you are stepping into this soulmate relationship that is going to be just amazing. And the King of Coins probably represents the other person for those of you who are stepping into the soulmate relationship. Archangel Chamuel is here to assist. She helps with all matters of love. I mean, all the Archangels can help with anything, but she kind of specializes in love. So whether this is self-love, platonic love, so like friendship love or soulmate love, romantic love, there is Archangel Chamuel offering her assistance for you. So call out to her if you need her. Now, let's see Moonology starting with this five of coins. What is there to add to this five of coins? Prosperity lies ahead. Okay, perfect. So for those of you that have fear regarding finances, worried about financial situations, your prosperity lies ahead. You're stepping into it. Focus on the fact that you're moving towards prosperity. Don't worry about things. Let that fear go. Focus on the positivity that's coming in. Now, I think I also want to see monology for this page of coins. The page of coins is about an opportunity where you need to take action bring love into the situation. All right. So as you are presented with whatever this opportunity is, make sure that you are showing self-love. Make sure that you are approaching the situation and all aspects of it from a love perspective. So if it is, you know, if the opportunity is not something you can love, it may not be for you. But for most of you, this is a beautiful opportunity that's going to bring in abundance with it. So just make sure that you enter that situation with love at the forefront. Now let's see the king of coins out of queen of the moon. What is there to add to this king of coins? Peace. That is beautiful. Okay. So for some of you, this talks about abundance coming in. That's going to bring peace with it. It's going to kind of eliminate this concern about money, which is fantastic. And then some of you, this is your person that's coming in with this two of cups meeting of soulmate and they are bringing peace with them. So it's a wonderful, peaceful relationship that you're going to be stepping into or that you have recently entered. Now, let's see the spell casting oracle for temperance and the two of cups. I'm going to do temperance first. What is there to add for temperance? Ooh, prosperity. Okay, so balance is going to bring in prosperity. Balance emotions and passions, balance work and play, staying balanced, staying centered is going to bring in that prosperity for you. There is lots of promise of prosperity here, so stop worrying about finances. They're going to be okay. Now, the Two of Cups, what is there to add here? Ooh, dreams. Some of you may be dreaming about your soulmate. Um, and this is probably a romantic soulmate. I mean, a soulmate can be even a pet for real. But this kind of feels like a romantic soulmate to me, especially with the sensuality and the devotion in the signifier. Many of you meeting your soulmate, you may already be dreaming about them. Your dreams may be guiding you. This is a beautiful energy. So just be open to receiving and let everything, let the universe work everything else out. Now, let's see the spirit guide cards for group number three, please. 
Your beliefs are right for you. Absolutely, they are. Whatever your belief system is, is totally right for you. The thing about belief systems is they are right for the person that holds them and you don't have to share your beliefs with anyone. You know, your soulmate doesn't have to have the same beliefs as you. Everyone has their own beliefs. Now, that also means you shouldn't push your beliefs on anyone else. So if someone is pushing their beliefs on you, make sure you stand up for yourself. Don't push your beliefs on anyone else. That's not really an appropriate energy. But your beliefs, hang on to them. Whatever it is you believe about whatever it is, you know, whatever aspect of your life, your beliefs are right for you. So it's okay to hang on to what you believe. Now, let's see the witch's wisdom, angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three, please. What? Thank you. Thank you. Water cleansing. Okay, so your guides may be trying to talk to you when you are in water, taking a shower, taking a bath. A spiritual bath might not be a bad idea. Set up some candles and some aromatherapy, however you like to do it. Whatever works for you, spend some time with water. It's going to be very cleansing for you on a soul spirit level. And your guides may be trying to come in and kind of give you some specific guidance that way. Now, let's take a look at the little starseed deck for group number three. Oh, okay. Well, that's four, but we'll take them. All right. So we start with release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. So if it's not for you, let it go. Like this fear around money, just let that go. Your prosperity is coming in. You also get freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. Give yourself the freedom to grow and expand. Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Yes, you can do this. Be fearless. Be courageous. Kind of decide that you're going to live and not just exist. Go into things with courage. And finally, inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. That goes really well with this bring love into the situation. Anywhere you're feeling fear, let love overcome it. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader and spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the red jasper. All right, let's see where we start. You start with Cathedral of Light. Stubborn attitudes, extending the olive branch, and artistry. So you guys may be kind of dealing with people that have some stubborn attitudes right now. The olive branch of peace may be necessary. And also there's an artist kind of um, energy that you may be able to tap into right now. Now let's take a look at what tarot has to add. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number four, please, whatever's in their best benefit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. The Fool, you guys starting a brand new journey. For some of you, this is art. There's something artistic about it. It doesn't have to be just like painting, all kinds of artistic, creative expressions. But either way, there's a new beginning, a, a new beginning that you're almost going to just jump and thrust yourself into. Now, the moon. The moon talks about fear around decisions. So even as you jump into this, there may be some fear about doing it. Let your dreams guide you. These could be your hopes and dreams or your actual literal dreams at night. Your guides are trying to talk to you through your dreams. The King of Cups. The King of Cups is about compassion and love. It, if it represents a person, it can represent you or someone you're dealing with. But there is a genuine compassionate love that wants what's in the best interests of the object of their affection. So that is a beautiful energy. 
five of coins. All right, some of you worrying with regards to finances. We'll get Oracle, see kind of how you step out of it. Gratitude, very important for this. Being grateful for what you have helps you to overcome this fear because fear attracts more fear. So gratitude's gonna be the answer there, but we'll get Oracle for you specifically for your case. And then King of Coins, I like it. You got the King of Cups and the King of Coins. Those are my two favorite kings. They are super wonderful energy. The King of Coins wants to take care of everyone around him, wants to be kind of the go-to person. So if these are representing people in your sphere, they are people that really have your best interests at heart. If they're representing you, you have a gorgeous energy. Now let's take a look at Oracle, starting with the angel deck. Angels for group number four. Seek enlightenment. All right. Make sure that you're meditating. Make sure you're listening to your higher self and your heart and your guides. Seek enlightenment. You, your guides are trying to guide you. Now let's do Moonology for this five of coins. What is there in the five of coins here, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so wherever this fear around finances is, you guys are safe. Don't worry, stop with the fear. Realize you're gonna be taken care of. Everything's gonna work out. Let the fear go. Focus on gratitude so that you can bring more things to be grateful for in. Remember, you guys are safe. There's nothing to be afraid of. Now, let's also see the moon with Moonology. What is there to add to the moon here? Thank you, thank you. Ooh, be bold and make that first move. So the moon is about fear around decisions. And the fool is about jumping in kind of almost without looking, starting something brand new. You're being told, be bold, make that first move, jump into this beginning, whatever this beginning is for you, jump in it's gonna it's gonna be kind of a wild ride and there's gonna be ups and downs but it's time be bold make that first move now let's see queen of the moon and i'm gonna start with the fool here so with the queen of the moon for the fool Ooh, attraction okay yes you are attracting this wonderful new beginning in it is going to be a super attraction for you so just, you know, don't be afraid. Make that first move. Take that new beginning. It's time. Now, let's see the spellcasting oracle for both of our kings. This is wonderful energy, guys. The, the king of cups and the king of coins, they are my favorite kings. Now, king of cups, compassion. What did I tell you about him being all compassionate, loving energy? Wonderful, loving energy. If this represents you, just continue being the awesome you that you are. If this represents someone around you, this is a truly wonderful energy to be interacting with. So just enjoy it. Now, King of Coins life purpose okay the king of coins it 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 represents a person for sure um it regularly it represents a person but it can also represent abundance coming in you guys may be stepping into abundance that has some effect on your life purpose this could be through a person who's trying to help you trying to assist you maybe assist you on a financial level into stepping into this new beginning over here there is something happening with regards to finances coming in that's going to kind of propel you forward on your life purpose so you got a lot of transitions going on but they're beautiful don't be worried. Everything's going to be okay. Now, let's see the, the uh, spirit guide deck for group number four. What is there to add for group number four, please? You are never alone. You absolutely are never alone. Your guides and angels and your team is always with you. So do not be afraid. You are never alone. There is always guidance with you. Now, let's see the witch's wisdom, angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number four, please. Oh, okay. Let's see. You got two. Let's see what you got. 
All right, you got Lord God Masculine, so masculine energy, action, stepping in, stepping up, that kind of energy. And then you got homecoming. You guys may be going home. You may need your masculine energy, your action energy to take you home. There may be something at home, and home doesn't have to be a place. It doesn't have to be where you grew up. It doesn't have to be your childhood. Home can be a person. Home is almost a feeling. So whatever home represents for you, there is some action with regards to going home and you know really reconnecting to that energy. Now let's see the little star seed deck for group number four. What is there for group number four, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see here. Group number four. I know you can hear my dog. My daughter's getting home, and so he's very excited. He loves her very much. All right, let's see your starseed cards. You start with channel. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. And then you get blue flame. Connect to the blue flame, which is the light of pure love within you. And finally, abundance. When your heart's intention is to serve humanity, doors of abundance naturally open. I think that's what you guys are stepping into, some wonderful abundance coming in. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader and spending your time with me today. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the Labradorite. All right, let's see where we start. You start with scales of karma, a cycle of disharmony, creating new traditions, unfortunate events. All right, you guys may be dealing with some unfortunate events that have happened. This may be coming through the end of a cycle of disharmony. And it's an opportunity for you to create new traditions. If the old traditions are not working, it's time for something new. Now, let's see what the tarot has for group number five. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Whatever's in the best benefit of group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see here. Palace of Swords, that talks about taking some time, thinking things through, deciding what action you're going to take. The wheel. The wheel talks about luck and fate being on your side, things turning in your favor. The magician. The magician is all about manifesting. You manifesting what you want in this realm through your skills and talents and the, the abilities that you have. The five of cups. All right. So some of you looking at things really putting your focus on what you've lost as opposed to what you still have. So very important to shift this five of cups energy. You use gratitude, start listing things that you're grateful for that you have. It will help bring up that energy for you. And then the nine of cups. So you guys have a dream come true coming in. Something is coming. That's going to be like a wish fulfilled. Now, let's take a look at Oracle for everything. So, angels, for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be strong. All right, yeah, you're told to be strong. You've got this. Even with the cycle of disharmony you've been dealing with, the loss that you're feeling, you've got this. Be strong. You'll come through this just fine. Now, let's see the Five of Cups. What is there to add to the Five of Cups here? For group number five, please. A time for healing. Okay, so whatever it is you've lost, and some of you have lost significant things, whatever it is you've lost, you've come into a time for healing. It's a time to heal that. It's a time for new, stepping out of the old and into the new. So give yourself some time to heal and really focus on gratitude. It's going to help bring that energy back. Now, let's see the Palace of Swords for group number five. What is there for group number five? 
a personal issue reaches resolution. All right, so with some meditation and thought and whatever action you decide to take through that, you're gonna bring something to resolution. Like some personal issue you're dealing with is gonna come to resolution. You just need to take some time, think about the action that you're gonna take and then do whatever your meditations lead you towards. Now, let's see Queen of the Moon. I want to see both the wheel and the magician out of Queen of the Moon. First, the wheel. Release. Okay. So there are things you need to release to step into this wonderful turn of fate for you. So whatever doesn't serve you, it's time to let it go. Now, the magician. Power. Yes, you are absolutely a powerful manifester. Wherever your focus is, that's what you're going to manifest. That's why it's so important for you to clear up this Five of Cups energy. If you focus on loss, you're going to manifest more loss. So focus on gratitude. Focus on positivity. You are a very powerful manifester. And wherever your focus goes, that is where your manifestations go as well. Now, let's take a look at the Spellcasting Oracle for the Nine of Cups, because that's your dream come true. So, let's see. The Nine of Cups, please. Healing. Okay. So, yes, you are getting healing, and for you, that's going to feel like a wonderful dream come true. Some of you may feel like you will never heal from whatever it is you've lost. You are healing. You are growing. You're manifesting what you need into your life to be able to truly, truly heal. Now, let's see the Spirit Guide deck for group number five. Whatever's in group number five's best benefit. Ask for guidance. Absolutely ask for guidance. That's what this meditation is about. Ask for guidance. See which way you're supposed to go. What action you're supposed to take next. Now, let's see the witch's wisdom. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number five, please. All right, you get stability. The staff. Stability is coming in. There is foundational energy here. You are stabilizing. You're going to be strong. You're going to be healing. Everything is going to stabilize for you. Now, let's see the little starseed deck for group number five, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. That one try there we go. Okay, let's see. This one's trying to hide behind the other card. All right, you start with courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. You've got this. Be strong. Be courageous. You're going to get through whatever you're going through. Next, you get fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Absolutely. What you desire will happen for you. You are a powerful manifester. And finally, transcendence. Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.